right, it's a new day. I'm absolutely chuffed how that floor went down yesterday. It looks absolutely mint. All it needs now is a little bit of filling and some sanding before we start polyurethaning before the cabinets go in. But today, it's time to get the um, the top cabinets um, profiles all sorted out. So um, not only is it forming a sort of a curve at the back, but it also goes from larger to smaller as we run through Henry. So it's gonna be a lot of um, sort of playing with profiles to make sure that we get the fit absolutely perfect. So to start off with, gonna get on my etch sketch and go with some plans with our Scotty and then um, we'll start fitting it out. So um, I guess let's get to it. So I'm really happy with our final plans. We've got a 220 deep by 300 high, 1400 long um, cabinets that will go on the left and the right hand side. We've gone with the pull down latches. Um, by pulling it down, it also creates an extra little shelf. If you want to sit down, hang something up on it, maybe water your pot plants, I don't know. Um, black fronts, uh, we're going to tie that Oregon into the, uh, into the cabinets by running a trim around the outside of it. And then on the inside will be a polyurethane to comb ply. So, um, that's gonna look really cool. Shouldn't be too hard, eh? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Said Scotty. Spent all weekend, probably about four or five hours, filling all the floor uh, with a Remu filler. So now today's gonna be all about sanding it as well as the ceiling. One thing I'm learning a lot from um, doing this RV is that you've got to work backwards. You've always got to think of the end game and then work from there. So um, with our panelling on our wall, we've got this six mm Akumi ply. Then we're going to put our panelling over the top of it. Um, carry on with the Oregon panelling to make it all tie in quite nicely. But what we're thinking of going is a, a hexagon splashback. Okay. Now what we want to know is the dimensions of the hexagon to tie the panelling in nicely and stagger it off. Look like a really cool feature and make the uh, the paneling go all the way through look really cool. But what we're going to know is the the dimensions of it exactly, so we keep the paneling to the same size. So uh, let's call it my T and see what they've got. Sweet, so I've finished my, um, my four chevron door panellings. It's gonna cover over my, uh, my insulation. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down there and give it a little bit of a black paint, just to give it a little finish. And then she'll just go, a cool little feature. And this will all stay white. It's pretty awesome, I think. Guys, so this week I used the three piece 18 volt multi set hammer drill, jigsaw, mouse sander. Pretty awesome little kit, actually, probably my favorite kit. Uh, hammer drill, two speeds, fast for drilling, slow for control. Beautiful bit of a kit. Jigsaw, handy pendulum action, great for cutting, and what's even better, no tool needed to get the blade in and out. Awesome. And lastly, but not least, is my favorite bit this little ripper. Now don't be mistaken by its size, 12,000 oscillations per minute, handy little grip for vertical and horizontal, cool shaped nose for getting those nooks and crannies, probably my favourite bit of kit so far. So get on down to Mighty 10 or Mighty 10 Mega, pick out some of this so you could be driving around Henry. Get to it. Create your own adventure. <laughs> 